Hey YouTube, it's Drew from On The Mountain Films, and today I'm going to be showing you how to access your keyboard on your HP Pavilion DV6 laptop. So what you're going to need is a screwdriver, two flathead drill bits, or a long flat object, and an anti-static wrist strap, which is optional. First, attach your anti-static wrist strap to your wrist. and plug it in or clip it to something metal on your computer. Then flip it over remove the battery and press the power button a few times to make sure no electricity is still in the system. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you don't have an anti-static wrist strap, all you have to really do is touch the metal on your computer a couple times just to make sure that you have no static electricity and you have equilibrium with the computer. But I highly recommend this, then you don't have to worry or you don't have to worry about any problems you might occur might that might occur from your static. Next, remove all the screws on the bottom. These loosen the top plates, this pla the plastic uh, covering of the computer, and they also loosen the speakers. After you're done removing all these screws, make sure you put them in a safe place so you don't lose them. And try to separate them from all the other screws. All right. Now that you have all those removed, inside the battery compartment there are screws with little arrows and there's one screw with the keyboard symbol next to it. Remove all of these screws. Now, with all, the, with all these removed, flip your computer back over and open it up. Here's where you need your flat object or your two flathead screwdrivers. 
you want to go around the back where these speakers are connected right here and you need to remove this in order to do so you must place these flathead screwdrivers or whatever you're using in the little crack between the plastic and the speaker and carefully pry up This might take a little bit, so don't get frustrated if it doesn't happen right away. There. Now that you have those removed, carefully pull up on the backs. Maybe this one isn't done. There we go. Now carefully lift this up. Move it out of the way. It should just pop out. Just like that. And you can see we have four, sc four screws here or three and we need to remove all of these to access the connection of the keyboard Let me just switch out for another head quick. Hey, sorry guys, this screw right here is not coming out. It's a little stripped from last time I tried to do this. So I'll just explain the. For, I'll just explain what you need to do. So after you remove all these screws, you just have to lift up the keyboard. It should just slide right out, and there will be a little socket right around here with a really long thin wire all you have to do is carefully pull that out and if you're replacing it all you have to do is after you pull it out just slide the, slide the next one in make sure it's snug and that's it then reassemble same way you took it apart
If you have all those screws back in, slide in the, the covering plate for the speakers, like this, then snap it down, make sure it's all in. You might still be a little loose, that's just because you have to tighten the screws in the bottom that are holding this in. Alright, that's good. Pull it back over. Put the screws back in by the battery. And just so you know, this small one goes for that keyboard one right here. Just so you don't put the wrong one in, the small one goes right here. Just kidding. That was my mistake. Sorry about that, guys. After you know that, all you have to do is put the screws in around the whole body. And that's all there is to it. Put your battery back in. And you're set. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe.